I'm from not too far from here in Oakville, and uh, I came to this this show as a kid. It was part of what fueled my passion for cars and, and kind of got me into motorsports. So it's always nice coming back every year. We're excited to be back at the Auto Show again. We've been here for many years, uh, and every year we have a great space here. Uh, obviously, the, sh the showpiece here is this Hummer EV that uh, GMC provided to the, the OPP at no cost to us or taxpayers' dollars, just to be clear. Uh, but we have all our other frontline vehicles here as well, you know, including snowmobiles, motorcycles. You may not think that that would be a frontline patrol vehicle, but we have snowmobile trails all up in the northern parts of the province. We've been wanting to do it for a long time, really excited to be here. We've got some of our historic fleet. We've got a, a 1988 Plymouth, uh, which was of course our, our yellow police car. That seems to be the number one thing people want to talk about, is that car, uh, the taxi cab. When was it uh, produced? Is that really being used? Or was that really a police car? Does it have air conditioning? And why aren't they yellow anymore? And uh, the reason that the police got away from yellow was because there was a high lead content in the paint. So th I, I think we would have kept yellow for a lot longer. That and Americans visiting Toronto would get into the back of it thinking it was a taxi cab. Something about cars and and uh, that are cool. It's one of the elements of policing that people really uh, are, are drawn to.